Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about next experiment of amphibian physiology that is effect of temperature on simple muscle twitch or muscle contraction, right? So we have uh, already done uh, how to record simple muscle twitch. What if we increase the intensity of stimulation? What if we increase the frequency of stimulation uh, that is two successive stimuli? Okay, we'll do some more experiment about frequency of stimulation if we increase the number of stimulation to many, right? So uh, that will be the next experiment. But before that, one more important experiment that is uh, what is effect of temperature on simple muscle twitch we should know. So, uh, what is being done is basically the nerve muscle preparation which we are using the sciatic nerve and gastronomous preparation uh, that preparation we have to put in some chamber that is called Lucas chamber where we have to put warm ringer and cold ringer solution okay the temperature are given so warm ringer if we uh, put in the chamber what is effect on muscle contraction if we stimulate the nerve right so uh, this is the graph which you, you can be given in your uh, final exam amphibian physiology so you can be asked what is your observation and what are causes behind it okay so this 28 degree celsius is uh, the normal temperature so on warm application the graph look like this 38 degree celsius and on cold application the graph look like this okay so if uh, someone ask you what is your observation uh, so in term of phases we have to uh, tell and second thing is in term of amplitude we have to tell so uh, you can see the amplitude is increased on warm application right and the phases has been reduced if you see the uh, the part and uh, if you see a cold application you can see the amplitude has reduced prominently and the the graph has been widened that means the phases period duration elongated right so that is your observation so every time you see a graph you should know two things one thing is observation and second thing is what is caused behind that observation right so uh, this is very simple uh, graph which can be asked so on warm application uh, the, the the observation is increase in height of contraction every time and decrease in duration of all the phases and the cause uh, behind it is basically since on uh, warm application the viscosity of muscle reduces and hence the inertia of muscle reduces or we can say the muscle is not in resistance that much so resistance reduces of that muscle and there is a uh, decrease uh, in synaptic delay because of the temperature rise so which led to increase in height of contraction and decrease in duration of all the phases on cold application the vice versa changes occur you got decrease in height of contraction and increase in duration of all the phases and the cause is there is increase in viscosity because of cold application and all the metabolic processes slow down hence you can see that the temperature the cold application the the graph widens that means the duration increases and amplitude reduces so less force of contraction uh, uh, with less force of contraction the muscle contracts right with less force so that is all about this small experiment that is effect of temperature on simple muscle twitch we'll come with the, the next one which is increase in frequency of stimulation what if we give 5 frequency per minute or 40 frequency or 100 frequency per minute how the muscle is going to respond that is your next experiment i hope you like this video the concept is clear to you if yes please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching happy learning guys bye bye